hi guys welcome to my channel if you're new here hi hello my name is Anne, and on here i do create faith-based content i also do create live and studying elite videos so if this looks to be something content you're interested in do consider subscribing to the channel and thank you for doing that if you love me i got a word for the both of us so pre-enrollment for academic year 2023-2024 is opened okay is opened and as you guys remember i spoke to you about this site um universe italy i spoke to you about it when i spoke about how to find english courses here in italy and fortunately it is on this same site that you have to come and do your pre-enrollment okay so um, initially, pre enrollment used to be done directly at the Italian embassy, but then now, for, for some time now, a couple of things have changed, and now pre enrollment is clearly done on Universe Italy. So, what does pre enrollment mean? So, obviously, um, a number of you that have applied to universities in Italy, as of now, have received your acceptance letters. So, by pre enrolling, you are telling the university that you have accepted to be admitted you have accepted their their offer so yeah that is basically what it means and the thing is you cannot pre-enroll to more than a school more than a university sorry so you can pre-enroll to one university so if you apply to five universities and then you gain admission in all of these universities at this point you have to choose one and come and pre-enroll on this site so basically what it does is when you pre-enroll this step you cannot skip it this is very very necessary it will help you for you to get your visa your student visa to come and study here in italy so this process is really important for international students so let us get right into the process i hope you guys understood everything so we are here one thing I forgot to mention was when you pre-enroll here, it will help the university to forward this um, pre-enrollment application, your acceptance of their offer. It will help them to forward it to the, you know, the Italian embassy or consulate in the country where the student is coming from. So if you're from Ghana, if you're from Nigeria, wherever you're coming from, if you pre-enroll here, it's going to help the university to send these details that you've included. It will help you. It will help them to send it to the Italian embassy in your home country, and then obviously later on, it is going to help you to book your appointment for your visa and other things that comes after pre-enrollment. But then let us look at today. Let us look at the pre-enrollment. Let's translate the page to English. So the page is in English. So like basically when you come here, what you have to do is you go to why and how to register. So when you come, then you enter here. Then you go to here and include all this information. I will not include this information because I've already registered. When I was showing you guys the English um, courses in English, I had to register, um, yeah, I had to register. So basically, I have already registered. But then I want to show you guys something. When you register, this thing, you see the tax code, which is the Codice Fiscale. Okay, this one. When you fill in these details, they're going to generate it automatically. But then um, I already have one, so I included it in the process. Then you fill out all these other details, your document type, the expiration date, your residence and everything. When you are done, then you save. After you are done saving, then you come here. When you save, then it should bring you here. Then you sign in. Like When you sign in, it brings you here. And then there's a notice here. Non-EU citizens, application to obtain a study visa for Italy. Now, in EU citizens, the pre-enrollment application is necessary for the issuance of a visa for candidates for higher education study courses in Italy. So this process, the pre-enrollment process, is very, very necessary. Now, in EU citizens must apply for a study visa at the 
relevant diplomatic mission. So you need to do this before you book your appointment at the um, Italian embassy or the diplomatic mission, the one relevant to your country. So we'll go here. And this is it. Let me change it to English. So pre new pre um pre-registration application. So basically this here. Here is some useful information. You read this information, then you come here. Pre-registration application. Then let me translate it to English. Elia. At this point, you should have decided the university you want to pre-enroll at. If you got admission, if you got acceptance letters from four universities you should by now have decided on which university to go with so you come here you choose the academic year 2023 2025 you fill your name you understand your date of birth da, 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 and all of that and all of that you fill every single thing because i registered so some of my details are already here then you go to step b then it brings you this is step b let me translate the page to english so your passport number, the expiry date, you know, image, passport, photo, passport, image. This one is your passport itself, a, photo, a picture of it. Then this one is image of a passport picture. Then where will you be applying for your visa? So obviously where you'll be applying for, then you indicate it. Basically, it's not showing me any option because I'm here in Italy. But then if you happen to, because with the details that I filled, with my house address and all the other details, you show that I'm in Italy. But then if you filled in Ghana and everything, it's going to show you the Ghanaian embassy. If I'm in Nigeria, it's going to show you maybe Lagos, um, wherever it is, the consulate that is closer to you, it's going to show you um, in this at this section. That indicates the reason for the visa um, application. So maybe... I want to enroll in a course of study. I want to spend a mobility period for study internship. Erasmus Plus, Erasmus Plus double or joint title, visiting students and free moves, short-term mobility, you know. So you just, you just, I want to enroll in a course of study. You choose that. Then it is at this point that you fill in for the university. So the institution you are pre-enrolling at, um, you understand? Mm -hmm. Then the investor's name, the course type. Then you come here, course name. Then you understand English language, other languages. You just state all of that there. Then the course curriculum is not present. Location of the course identification at the university. So you put this one here. Then you go to step C. This is an, an international student. I'm not outside Italy. Where I'll get the option to choose the country where i will be applying for the visa you understand so basically i cannot move forward because if to move forward i need to feel where i will be applying for the visa so that the university will you know forward these details to the embassy as well but then if i'm within italy girl what are you doing here <laughs> the step c of this process is where you're going to include your um study document what you applied to the university with so you're going to include so if you applied for a batch um a bachelor's obviously you're going to add your YEG, you know and all other things that are needed and if you have applied for masters you're going to add your bachelor's degree and other relevant documents as well you understand yeah so basically that is the next step the next step is what um is directly related to the course that you, the documents related to the course of your study aside from that also you're going to ensure other required documents you're going to ensure that you have them to be able to include in this step okay so that is it um i hope you guys found this video helpful let me know in the comments what more you want me to make a video about and that is it for today's pre-enrollment process so i'll catch you guys in my um next video bye